My new boyfriend was looking for scars behind my ears. He didn't believe that I could look the way I did without surgeries at 55. I didn't lie to Michael about the plastic surgeries. And the surgeon didn't touch my face. My trick was different. I was 30, but I gave myself an extra quarter of a century so I could hang out with the pensioners and cause excitement among them. Because I couldn't compete with my peers. <laughs> By the time I was 30, I yearned for a husband, a house, a career. However, none of my wishes came true. I felt like a loser next to my successful girlfriends. So I left my old life and got myself a new social circle. And it worked! Soon after that, a lonely rich man named Michael proposed to me. At the time, I didn't care that he was old enough to be my dad. However, right after the wedding, alarms started blaring. I walked into the bedroom on the first night of our honeymoon and found my blushing husband measuring his blood pressure. I thought Michael was just nervous. But as it turned out, that was a normal thing for my husband. Were you expecting something to happen today? <laughs> Not in my age, honey. Yes, I had needs. But Michael could only satisfy them once a month. On a special day. While with my husband, I had to forget all about the Boston resorts. We spent our vacation at a sanatorium. And I started hating the weekends because we would spend them playing bridge at home. There wasn't a single occasion I could wear a dress to, except for the funeral of one of Michael's friends. After two years of marriage, I realized that no one tried to peek behind my ears. Nobody complimented me after learning about my fake age. One day, I woke up with a fever and a severe headache. None of the pills in my first aid kit helped. At the doctor's appointment, I was dumbfounded. I entered menopause. The doctor said it quite casually, as if I was actually over 50 years old. After the appointment, Michael invited me to a cafe. I expected sympathy and support from him, but he told me that he was <gasps> leaving me. You withered pretty fast, dear. Michael said that he needed a younger and more active wife. And then, believing that he was doing me a favor, Michael let me know that his friend John had a crush on me for quite a while. He was a nice man over 80. And Michael claimed that he wouldn't mind if I got into a relationship with John. Go for it. He definitely won't leave you. He won't make it. <laughs> I decided that was enough. The very next day, I moved out of Michael's house and filed for divorce. I completely reinvented my wardrobe. I 
get rid of all gloomy clothing pieces and filed my closet with bright dresses. However, the most important thing was to have new people around me. I got in touch with people my age again and started learning how to live without feeling embarrassed by the things I had not achieved yet. I threw all of my pills away and finally removed my vision board from the wall. Soon after, I went back to the doctor's office. He recognized me and asked me the secret behind my transformation. But there was no secret. I just stopped forcing goals and achievements upon myself for every anniversary. As soon as I let it all go, everything started working out for me.